hello everyone um uh, welcome back to the new video today um it is such a fresh morning after a heavy rainfall uh, at my place so i thought it was a great day to make some scented wax tablets to um hang in in your house uh, wherever you feel like be it inside the restroom or inside your cupboard anywhere you can use fragrance accordingly so here am i Uh, trying to collect some flowers to use for decoration at the end. I got some rose. Dried ones would be much better. <laughs> And then here are some cinnamon. And then some cloves. Just some cloves from your kitchen will do. And then some flowers I uh, just plucked from my plants for decorations. and then some camphor cloves and camphor together gives an amazing smell it just brings a fresh mood to everything and i'm using some uh, essential oils that i have with me already uh, for today's batch i used orange and vanilla because these two are like my go to and i do have two um colors that food coloring it's optional if you want you can add it but i prefer not using it because the natural wax color is pretty good and this is a dropper to not overdo with the essential oils or the coloring and i got some beeswax and then i got some soy wax soy wax help in holding on to the scent for a longer time and this is the mold that i ordered online everything even the wax i just got it online so yeah this is the materials that we need now first you can just uh, switch on your gas and then fill in some tap water into a bigger container that you have and let the water boil until uh, we wait for the water to get to a temperature let's just uh take a glass bowl and fill one cup of soy wax and then half a cup of yellow beeswax so this is the soy wax and then now adding on half a cup of beeswax for nearly many months i kept searching on how to keep the essential oil uh, the scent smell uh, locked up in the tablet for a longer time and that's when after watching a lot of videos and you know a lot of googling and then i found out that soy wax actually helps keeping the smell the scent smell for a longer time and the proportion the ratio of both it's pretty simple I mean the color looks absolutely beautiful. I just don't have the heart to add any um any other food coloring to this because the natural color itself will look amazing. Uh, now we are back to the boiling water just check if it if it's boiling enough or just close to boiling and then you can place the glass container with the wax inside and give it a good stir and then just leave it and let it melt and just to look at it melt itself is so beautiful and relaxing and make sure you're using a glass bowl that is thick enough to handle the heat so that you know it just doesn't crack or just break otherwise the wax the materials everything will go waste so yeah on the other hand uh, till the wax melts we are getting the mold ready by dropping a your choice of fragrance here i added some drops of orange essential oil just mixing it up and 
as you can see it started to melt really well um i would advise you to have some patience to allow it to melt completely and then when the water is boiling a lot make sure the water doesn't splash into the wax uh just keep it on sim throughout then and yes from spoon i have shifted to stick uh by using stick you can save lot of wax going waste and also very very convenient and it's about time to drop in the camphor that we have and then the camphor also melts along with the wax and gives a very very aromatic smell and i would also advise you to just make it into a powder and drop it in for quick melting and now uh, by the time the camphor melts we can arrange uh, some decoration items like you can just cut the cinnamon into smaller pieces because what i have is quite big uh, which will not fit into the tablet so yeah you can make it into pieces like that you can decorate however you want and with whatever you want i just went by with whatever i felt will look good and i'm also adding some vanilla essential oil into the wax to boost the smell and now we can carefully pour the wax into the tablets and make sure you pour enough of amount to fill the thickness of the mold because if it's too thin then it will easily crack or break so it's better you pour the full thickness of the mold and then um you can use the heavy uh, decoration items like for example the cinnamon when the tablet base alone is solid when on the top it's all still wax liquid you can just start decorating like you will know which will melt which will not melt so some uh, things that might melt just wait for the wax to get little solid but it trust me guys it just becomes solid real quick uh, quicker than we expect so just be alert during the time of decoration otherwise we're just going to miss the moment and the decoration pieces will not get stuck to the wax it excites me when i have more wax so that i can get extra tablets wax tablets and now you can carefully start removing the wax tablets out of the mold and then i i would request you also to keep some uh, rope or twine ready on the side to just um tie it up along uh, with the wax tablet there are some extra wax around the tablet you can just scrape it out for a better finished look
if you're planning to uh, gift it to your friends or family um, you can cover it up wrap it up with a butter paper um, so that the fragrance will be intact and then tie it up with some beautiful ribbon or rope whatever you have and then you can share it with your friends and here we are at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and guys and girls uh, girls can actually throw a small party at home making scented wax tablets party you know something different something fun okay see you all in the next video Enjoy, stay fresh.